Causes of Machine Vibrations Excessive vibrations on rotating equipment like pumps, gearboxes, turbines, and compressors are a clear sign that the equipment is not functioning properly. I intentionally put emphasis on excessive, as the presence of vibrations in moving machine components is completely normal. Changing vibration behavior or sudden excessive vibrations are what provides useful information about the condition of the machine and its components. Equipment or machinery that is showing excessive vibration behavior will most likely not achieve its expected lifespan. It could become the source of unscheduled downtime or dangerous situations. Finding the root cause of changing vibrational behavior or excessive vibrations is therefore important. We can do so by analyzing the vibration signals that we discussed before. At a later moment in the training, we will have a closer look at how to analyze certain vibration signals and what kind of analyses are used to do so. Let's take a look at the six most common causes of vibrations. Alignment problems. When two rotating machines are connected, the correct alignment of these machines is essential. When the alignment is not done correctly, we speak of misalignment. We can distinguish three types of misalignment. One, parallel misalignment occurs when the shaft center lines are parallel but are not in line. This can be both horizontal and vertical. Parallel misalignment is also known as offset misalignment. Two, angular misalignment occurs when the shafts meet at a point but are not parallel. This can be both on the horizontal and the vertical axis. Angular misalignment is also known as gap misalignment. 3. Combined parallel angular misalignment is a combination of both parallel and angular misalignment. This is the most common type of misalignment found in rotating machinery. Unbalance. When the center of gravity of a rotating object is not exactly in the center line, it causes machine unbalance. This unbalance results in vibration. When a machine is unbalanced, it can cause damage to the machine itself, the foundation, pipes, etc. We distinguish three types of unbalance. 1. Static unbalance is when the center of gravity axis is not in line with the center of rotation and the heavy spot and the center of gravity are in the same plane. 2. Coupled unbalance appears when a rotating object has two or more unbalanced masses in different planes. These equal each other out in its rest position. When the machine starts to rotate, these masses will be influenced by centrifugal forces. This leads to vibration. 3. Dynamic unbalance is the most common type of unbalance and the result of a combination of static and coupled unbalance. The principal mass axis is displaced and not parallel to the shaft center line. Resonance During this training, I mentioned the natural frequency that every object, including machinery, has. When a rotating frequency coincides with the natural frequency of a machine, resonance occurs. Resonance can cause serious damage in a short time frame. An interesting example of the impact of resonance is the Tacoma Bridge, which collapsed in 1940. The bridge was designed to be flexible. However, due to vibration being amplified by strong winds, the bridge reached its resonance frequency. This caused the bridge to collapse. Loose Parts Loose machine parts such as bearings and bolts, but also corrosion, can be the cause of excessive machine vibrations. Loose parts can rapidly cause damage due to the mechanical forces in the machine. Damaged or worn out gears. Gearbox vibrations are often caused by damaged or worn out gear teeth. When gear tooth engagement involves a damaged tooth, the force cannot be transferred as it does with the gear teeth that are not damaged. When a gear tooth is broken, less force can be transferred at this point of the cycle. In both cases, this will result in vibrations. Bearing damage. Bearing damage can also be the cause of excessive vibrations in rotating machinery. We'll discuss two types of bearings, roller bearings and sleeve bearings. Roller bearings. A roller bearing can be damaged in several ways. 
Each of these damages could cause excessive vibrations. 1. Damage to the inner ring. 2. Damage to the outer ring. 3. Damage to the cage. 4. Damage to the rolling elements. Each part of a roller bearing has its own frequency. By calculating these frequencies, it is possible to use vibration analysis to determine whether the vibrations are caused by bearing damage. Sleeve bearings do not use rolling elements, but a fluid film to reduce friction. Vibrations can be caused by inaccuracies in this fluid film. Sleeve bearings are also sensitive to external influences on the position of the shaft, as its position in the bearing is not fixed, 